there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a what's in my ESA bag. Now this one is a little different than the normal what's in my bag. I did do one of those videos. I will leave a link up here and in the description if you want to check that video out. And yeah, the reason why I want to do this one is because uh, not much people have ESAs and if you don't know what an ESA is, it is an emotional support animal. I do have an emotional support animal. Her name is Maya. If you don't know her, here's a picture of her. I would bring her up here, but she is sleeping right now, so I'm just going to let her sleep. <laughs> and yeah, um, I personally carry around an ESA bag because it definitely helps a lot more for people to understand that I am someone who needs her animal with her. So I'll just show you the basics of what I have. It's very similar to what I have in just my normal bag, but it is just a tad bit different. So let's go ahead and get started. <sighs> outside of my ESA bag looks like it's basically just a normal backpack but it's very sparkly I chose a very bold and sparkly one because in case I need to be found or in case I need to be um, located quickly um, they can locate me by my beautiful big bag I, it does have a tag on it where it says emotional support animal I always have this on here uh, so that when people find it or find me or whatever they know that I'm supposed to have an emotional support animal with me and so then uh, either they go find her or they'll wait for her to return and then I also carry these two um, little creatures with me these are from that one uh, movie called ugly dolls and I have these two with me because they're super cute. Uh, the green one is me and then the pink one is Maya. <laughs> and if you don't know, uh, Maya is my emotional support animal. She helps me when I have panic attacks and when I have like anxiety attacks and whatnot. So whenever I go into an attack, she'll either comfort me or if it's very severe, she will go find someone to help me. And so that is why I always have this backpack and why it has the emotional support animal on it because once someone is able to find me, they know that either it was my, if Maya's the one that located them, they'll know that I'm the person that I, they need to help or um, that they'll find me and they know that I'm supposed to have an animal with me when I'm having my attack. So that is sort of like a brief overview of that. In here, I keep a water bottle for Maya um, it's always filled with water and it's in this container when I open it like this this turns into sort of like a little uh, travel bowl for her so I just pour the water in here and she drinks it from there I usually have a water bottle in here with me as well but it is not in here at the time I put it somewhere probably it's probably in the washer right now I probably put it uh, to wash right now and then I always carry around some sort of treats for her and they're usually in here these are just some little treats for her in case um she's bored or you know if she's done something really good i like to give her a little treat every now and then and then of course in here i always keep my travelable black bag that has all my necessities in it um if you want to see a, a more in depth of stuff that i have in here uh go ahead and check out my video where it's in my normal bag stuff what's in my bag um, I'll, like I said, I'll leave an iCard up here and I'll also leave the link in my description so you can check that out as well. But I always have this bag in here as well when I'm using it. And in this bag has all like my anxiety medicines as well. So I always make sure I have that with me. And the last thing that I always have in my bag is my wallet, of course. And in my wallet, I have a card that is a registered emotional support animal card. So in case uh, like my badge falls out of my backpack or something, I'm able to show that card to them and to show them that she is a real registered emotional support animal. And yeah, that is everything that I always have in my emotional support animal bag. Um, 
I hope this helps you guys because not everyone who has an emotional support animal has a bag like I do. So if you are also someone who has an emotional support animal and you don't know exactly what to pack and stuff like that, uh, I hope this also helps you because, um, you know, we always got to help each other out no matter what. And yeah. So just like a brief overview for my backpack or for my bag for my emotional support animal, I always make sure I have my stuff for me personally. So all the medications and all that stuff that I need, I make sure that I have it in my bag. And also I always make sure to have something for my animal as well. So I always have water for her, uh, some treats for her as well. And if I know I'm going to be gone for a long time, I'll probably pack like a little food baggie for her as well. And so yeah, I hope this helps you guys um, whether you have an animal or whether you don't and just so that you have a more insight of uh, what we also need all right guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below so I know and if you're not already subscribe to my channel I post every Friday and leave a comment down below whether this helped you either create an ESA bag or if this helped you understand um, people with ESAs as well all right guys thank you so much for watching I love you so 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 much and I will see you next Friday